All right, Spite. Yep. Welcome to volume 52. 52. 52. Hey, all right. That hey, took a that. lot less longer to load. We didn't know if we were going to get to play Grand Theft Auto Online because we tried it once before and it was... It was taking forever. Go up that way. That's the way to get out. My plush apartment. Nice. Best thing about this is... Dope. I'm, I'm level 72 and I just got this game because my nephew had it on Xbox 360 and was playing under my account. Uh-huh. And so I just took advantage of all his leveled up shit, renamed the character, mm -hmm. and restyled it to look more like me. Nice. I like <laughs> so I stole all of his effort, because he then later got it on PS3. <laughs> oh, Josh, uh, make sure you turn down the, the, um, the uh, bar so we don't get too much of feedback. Yeah. I will gladly take this. <laughs> uh, if you use your pistol, that's silent, so you won't get as much. Uh... I like to make noise. <laughs> Alright, go over to the Bahama Mom. Is that a strip club? Do I live across the street from a strip club? Alright. Looks like it. Don't get hit oh! by the car! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I handle this. <laughs> so hold it. I was... And you've been robbed. Uh, you got the cops on. You might want to go. I'm not done yet. Oh, there he goes. He's running. And, get him, John. And, <laughs> get him. And, oh, there he is. Izzo's defense, that man did hit him first. He did. Oh, we're turn recording. To, oh, turn about to play. Yeah. Turn play. Completely uh, forgot. That's and we're back. back. And we're back. Well, it's GTA. You, you, you expect the uh, the tangent killing. The cops are looking for you, so just watch your ass. You, you got on your one star. You can see You can see on your menu. I think you can do better at. than that. Yeah, but I'm trying to shoot people and drive at the same time. Okay, keep in mind, you're on my online thing, so let's not get killed too much because I lose money that way. I am trying to create my empire Drive on this. Drive-by. So oh, yeah, I, I, did, I, did, I did an online mission for Drive-by. We failed that horrifically. Oh, well, the dude... You didn't have me on board today. Is that supposed well, to be a Maserati? Yeah. It looks like it, yeah. Huh. Well, no, here's, here's the stupid Wait. thing. So we're supposed to do this Drive-by, and I'm driving by, and the guy dives out of the car, and I'm like, oh... Did you hit the wrong button or something, or what? No, no, no. I was playing with other people online, and the dude oh. who was in the passenger seat dove out of the car instead of shooting. Oh, oh, wow. nice. And so he got filled full of bullets, and I left him because... Because <laughs> screw that. That's what you That, did. and you can't shoot while driving. There was like eight of them. Ooh. Oh, wow. So that's why you can't shoot while driving. <laughs> so okay. I was just like, hmm. Well, sir, you made your choice. It was a poor one. I'm out. <laughs> oh, I did not see that trick. I will say this, driving still kind of sucks in GTA, but it's way better than it used to be. Yeah. It's mm. still, oh, it's still kind of floaty, really go that way. but it's not nearly as floaty as it used to be. Like, if you just tap, like, left or right, is the dog in your room? The dog's in my room, and she might be getting into something. <laughs> yeah, I hear... Hey! Is she getting the garbage? No, she's trying to get into this package of Oreos that was on my freaking Oh, geez. Yeah, let's not let her eat Oreos. But bring the Oreos out here for us to eat. Not after she's had them. No, she didn't get into them. We said tried to get into them. Taylor, are you trying to die? People must know you're a badass motherfucker because the streets are clear. <sighs> They're Amen. like, oh shit, Izzo's come to town. I had a lot of those, so you can have some. Yeah, I'll have some. But I gotta tell a story first. So we're gonna start this off. Yes. Last night was my company's holiday party. And I met a lot of newer employees who I hadn't met before, and they were kind of nerdy like us, so maybe that's where one of our new subscribers come from. They were all going to check out the YouTube channel. So, hey, everybody. Maybe they sh maybe we should have them on the show? Maybe, but I don't sit with anybody from my company. I'm isolated with the customer. Oh, gotcha. So, it's one of those things like, I see these people, like, every Once quarter at the all-hands meeting. Yeah. That's it. Gotcha. Um... But I was ta I was talking up the YouTube channel and the website and everything like that. In fact, so here goes my story. So yesterday, because I live about an hour from work, I wasn't coming home before my holiday party after work. So I stayed and worked an extra hour because like yeah, I get the extra hours in. Right. I don't get paid for it because I'm salary. Yeah. But whatever. It's like I I do like flex things. So it's like I work an extra hour one day. I can leave early or come in late another day, kind of thing like that. No one bats an eye. But I usually work. 40 hour work week, I usually work like close to like 45 to 50 hours because I usually come in early, anyways. Mm. Um, so, anyway, so party didn't start till 6 30. It was only like five blocks from my office. I was going to walk that. 
which turned out to be a little bit of a mistake because it was a lot colder yesterday evening than it was yeah, when I was. left for work yesterday morning. <laughs> it was pretty And all chilly. I had was this WrestleMania hoodie. Oh, no. dude. Yeah, yeah, so that was kind of a chilly walk, no, but either. I'm a man, so I dealt yeah. with it. I don't know why you're on top of that car. So I'm walking up there. It's on top of the world. And it's in, it's it's yeah. near the convention center, Nelson, where our party was at. It's at this new art gallery near the convention center. Okay. So it's, it's one of those parts of D.C. that they're revamping, that they're... Gotcha. I don't want to say gentrification, but, so but, you don't know, <laughs> but you don't know how to replace that word. Yeah, <laughs> but um, they're kind of like, they want a certain type of people to leave that area and a certain kind of people to move into that area. And it's in the process of it. It's not completely there, but so it's, it's the projects. Close. Yeah. Pretty no, much. not quite the projects. Not the projects anymore. But you could see where it was project esque. So, anyways, gotcha. I'm walking up there. It didn't take me as long as I thought to walk up there. And, um, Ooh. Jesus. That, was, that another, was awesome. That was another online player, too. Yeah, it was. Um, <laughs> so, I, I was just, I was just uh, walking up there. And I was like, okay, so I'm getting here kind of early. Let me find like a bar or a Starbucks, preferably a Starbucks, because I was cold and I wanted coffee at that point. <laughs> oh, I just realized what the story is about. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, let me, let me find that, and I'll just chill out there, you know, play on Facebook, play Marvel Puzzle Quest, uh, until it's time for the party. So I'm walking up there, and it's pretty well lit. And I get to the section that's not well lit, like one of the streetlights is out. And I shit you not, that is not my e-break. A three-person millennial drug deal is going down, and I'm just like, a. In hand-to-hand -hand combat, I could take all three. I have no doubts about that. Right. Because one was a woman. And the other two <laughs> were skinny dudes. I was like, I'm pretty sure I got this if it comes to fisticuffs. But it's a drug deal, so probably one of them at least has a knife. So I was like, but I'm not a narc. And it, they, they just seem like weed smokers. At worst, E. They did not seem like the type to be into hard drugs. Right. So I was like, probably there's going to be no problem. Yeah, I'm high on that Molly. Molly. They were, uh, yeah, they yeah were maybe weeds. Molly too. Uh, I was like, hey Molly. It was just kind of like, I'm just going to walk by, I'm not going to make eye contact, whatever. Bush they're not hurt. Drift. As far as I know, they're not hurting anybody. I don't care. And no, you're an idiot, did it on so. purpose. Nope. I know. I did, did it on purpose. And so, uh, <laughs> and you hit him again. Um, and so I'm trying to walk by, and they just start talking to me. <laughs> it's like, hey, brother with the ponytail, what's going on? I was like, nothing, man. How's business? I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> What you got there? Some drugs? <laughs> what you got there, guys? <laughs> and so I just, I just kind of dipped. I was just like, "Hey, you guys, you guys keep keeping on, man." And I went, and I went to a Starbucks. And, you guys uh, keep keeping on that. I don't know if all Starbucks do this, but this Starbucks serve beer and mold wa hot wine. I'm thinking it's hot because, it, uh, because of the uh, location. It might be, might be because it's in DC. Yeah, I kind of wanted to try because, like. In Game of Thrones, they talk about mold wine all the time. So I was like, mm -hmm. I kind of want to try that because I'm a nerd. And when I hear about new things and nerdy things like that, I want to try it. Libations. Yeah, exactly. So I was, I was, oh, I was about to say, that was a nice trip. And so I was like, oh, I'll give that a try. Then I saw it was seven bucks. I was like, fuck that. Small caramel macchiato, please. <laughs> and so I'm sitting there playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. Um, Drinking my macchiato, mm. and right behind me is a fucking pyramid scheme going on. This guy's like fucking recruiting people. It's like, see, at my level, I get you, I get you to sign up, and you get three people to sign up. And I'm like, holy shit, this motherfucker is pyramid scheming at the yeah. Starbucks, and he's got a crowd of people listening. It's like, are you motherfuckers Boom. stupid? Oh, Wait a team on that cop. And so sure. that's going on. And I'm just like, Jesus. And then finally, like, it's getting close to 6.30. It's like, all right, I'm a block away from the party. I'll, I'll start walking there now. And I get there, and there's this big black bouncer on the outside of um, the party. And I say black because he scared me. <laughs> he so he could have been Arabic or Mexican. That wouldn't have scared me. Wow. No, because he looked he looked like, um, you guys have seen The Replacements, what right? What was that? Yeah. Actually, no, you've seen, um, you've seen um, Couples the Retreat, Longs, right? right? Yes. Big Worm? Yeah. Look like Big Worm, you man. Mile? That? No. From, from Friday. Uh, I'm just talking about big yeah. black people. That dude was huge. Demo. And he stopped me. I'm like following people. He's like, excuse me, sir. I'm like, the fuck did I do? It's like, granted, I don't look very corporate, but... <laughs> <laughs> but he stopped me. He does one of these to me. I'm like... And I get scared. I'm like, I don't think I can take this dude. I might be able to get him in an arm bar, but he looks like he's big enough. So where if I have him in an arm bar, he can just fling me around like this and slam <laughs> me into the wall. So, 
Yep, you coming. become an ex- a, a friendship bracelet. <laughs> he goes. He goes. Uh, where do you think you're going? Oh no, he goes. I have two questions for you. I was like, okay. One, where do you think you're going? Um, the party. I work for HSI. We'll see about that. Dead. Two. Question number two. You a wrestling fan? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, because like, yeah, like, I hoodie, fucking right? love wrestling, <laughs> and so. I spent like the first 20 minutes of the party chatting with the bouncer about um, wrestling, but he booked, I didn't get his name, but I know you're watching because you bookmarked the website, and, I, and he, was, he was listening to the podcast as I was leaving, nice. listening to the uh, wrestling podcast. So, sir, comment in the video. Give me your name because you were a cool dude. You scared the shit out of me, mind you. <laughs> but, <laughs> See, there's, there's a couple things that just let you know they're cool. One is nerdy things like wrestling, and two, weed. <laughs> well, he wasn't about we. Oh, is yeah, fact. I know. I was, like, it's, it's I was not, like, don't confuse the two. They're not right. necessarily <laughs> at the same time. It, sometimes just, it's one or the other. Yeah, but, <laughs> but uh, those are typically just while you're ahead, Nelson. Just <laughs> I was like, uh, and so and so, him and I were chit chatting about wrestling, and I was giving him like, I gave him my predictions for um, T- TLC, and I was talking about some of my like, almost missed. Did you <laughs> side swipe somebody? There was some blood on your face. Yeah, there, no, on the quarter panel. I killed nobody. Oh! Mm. Well, she's definitely dead. For good measure. <laughs> no, you should have seen the one where that blood stain came from. Uh, make sure when you kill people, if you can, you know, take their money so I get more money. I'm not getting out of the car right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyways, him and I chit-chatted for about 20 minutes. And I chit-chatted with him before I left, too, about some wrestling. Nice. But he bookmarked the website and everything like awesome. that. And I was like, yeah, we do, I was like, we do video games and wrestling, sometimes movies, but mostly video games and wrestling. Mm-hmm. And I described the podcast, so I'm, like I said... Some of my co-workers at the party. You're back. trying to go right onto the highway, aren't you? I am. I am now. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that was a big There's drop. a concrete barrier, so you're going to have to get out and get another car. Uh, oh, and your batter. No. Uh, nope, I got to get out. Oh, crap. I got to jack the car on the highway? Yeah. Welcome. Uh, that should be fun. Just shoot him. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh. Oh, that didn't well, work out. Nope. <laughs> but um, so that was my adventure to my holiday party, and I took the day off today because usually I don't take the day off after the holiday party because we have them on Thursdays for some reason. Mm. But because Christmas Eve is on a Saturday, and I know, and that's like the one day off in December I take is Christmas Eve. Yeah. I uh, I was like, I'm gonna take this day off, so I'm gonna really enjoy myself at the party. Get that truck. And uh, then just I sleep in. Oh crap! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get that truck. There's stop. Oh, you need to go now. <laughs> no, I'm going. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, he's oh, got the shotgun. Shot on you. <laughs> oh man, Look, right in the back. So I jacked the hooker. So maybe the twenty five dollars I got earlier might help. <laughs> Can we call that a hate crime? That was a black officer who shot you in the back. Granted, you were carjacking, but you didn't have a weapon in your hand. I did actually. No, you put it away to carjack. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh, I think he wanted his car back. Oh, did you want this back, son? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, you are not hitting him. <laughs> uh, it's not worth it. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, it's worth it. <laughs> now it's just a challenge. Where did he go? Where did he oh. go? I don't know, but I see a couple people that might want to ride. There he is. That's him right there. Oh, oh my no! lord! No! If she ain't dead, she ain't happy. I like how you're doing this right outside of the police station, too. Well, wouldn't this be the hospital? Mm -mm. It should be the hospital. Oh, no, because I I got... uh, Well, no, because I was wasted, so I should have been dead. Yeah, so that's usually in front of the hospital. Yeah, but that that, that building said PD. Oh, all right. I didn't get a good look at it. That stands for police department. Izzo Izzo wouldn't know that because he's a good person. Nelson, you're the dregs of society. What are you talking about? Oh, where's this car? Hey, that's a ghost. That's no, that's a um, online player. He's like, what the fuck is this guy doing? So he might try to kill you and jack you because uh, we're playing on the internet and that's where people, that's what people do. Are just exactly. Dogs. I'm cool with that. It's the internet. Yeah. It's the so West. anyway, so now we're gonna we're gonna delve into this week's topic. That's what this guy's doing. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, but now he might be doing something else because collision's not on, hmm. and you're not racing. So I don't know. He's doing something. I haven't played enough online to know all the interesting I just know what I've watched on Funhouse. Yeah. Funhouse, literally, Rockstar, you owe Funhouse money because I was not going to buy GTA, but 
watching them play GTA Online, I was like, I want this game. I only want to play the Tron mod. Yeah. That's I, all I want. I have want. zero interest in really playing the story mode, though I probably will. <clears throat> but I have, I love... It's interesting. Yeah. I'll say that much. Uh, have you played it? Yeah, I beat it. Oh, okay. Well, buy it. When you get your Xbox One, buy this again. And we'll do online heist together. Hmm. That's why is this car falling? I don't, I don't know. I don't know why he's ghosting. Is he, maybe he's like off conflict. I don't know. But he's not colliding with you. Hmm. Right. So I'll try to lose him. Yeah, because he's like got... That. Okay, I see him on your radar. He's got a uh, circle with a line through it. So I think that means he's playing... Um, I can't remember what the mode's called. Basically like safe mode. Where I don't think he can kill anybody and they can't kill him. Huh. Or you just ended up in the middle of a race and you're racing somehow. You're just following the actual track. <laughs> which would be hilarious. Eh, hey, you don't need that door. Eh, yeah. it's a bitch door. Yeah, it's easier to get out of the car this way. <laughs> it's like a Jeep. There you go. But, so, we're going we're gonna to hop into the news. So. Yes, let's talk about it. So, for the uh, for 2017, Activision is not going to put, put out another Skylander set. And I think we've kind of seen this coming with Disney Interactive discontinuing. There, there was writing on the wall there. Yeah. Where the, I think the toys for the gaming toys are kind of dead now. It was a cool little fad. Yeah. But I think the problem was the oversaturation is like, it's one thing to keep coming out with toys. That's a smart business model. Yeah. But when you update the system every year and you're like, oh, well, you need to buy this new $80 game every yeah, year. Yeah, no, forget that. That's when it gets pricey. Like, I stopped with that with Skylanders for Sean because he liked Disney Amiibo, not Disney Amiibo, Disney Affinity better. Well, there's also that that one uh, revelation that I had that uh, even though you got the 3.0 Disney Infinity set with a new uh, pad, the pad was exactly the same. Yeah, but um, the new game, you you couldn't use... Oh, yeah, the new game, the definitely, game. but you were able but to... But yeah, if, I, if I just bought the game... So, wait, so you had to buy new figures for the... For the new game? No. No, you don't have to buy new figures, but when 3.8 came out, they came out with like... Yeah, you needed a new Marvel disc. figures. Uh, no, 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 2.0 was Marvel. 3.0... Was Star Wars. Was Star okay. Wars and stuff like that. Yeah. And it was a cool concept. Like, Nelson and I remember when I bought the 2.0 for Dude, for we played that way longer than your son. We stayed up to like 2, 3 a.m. playing that game. <laughs> it was addicting. Yeah, I was just flying around like Iron Man, and right. I don't... I think you kept switching off. Yeah, I was mostly like Spider-Man and Thor. Yeah. Nice. And and so that was a lot of fun, but yeah, it's like when you force parents to buy a new eighty dollar game every year to stay update, that's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. What they should have done is A, if you made new figures that weren't compatible with the old game, mm -hmm. no doubt that you could easily just send an update to the system. Oh like, yeah. It's to update that shit so you could just use the new things. And I think that was the problem was you know, people just got tired of buying that shit and Skylanders was even worse than that because not only did Skylanders do that, but they would come out with more elaborate figures that cost more money. Oh, know, yeah. Than, like, hey, the initial, there, like... There was supposed to be, like, some sort of crossover compatibility at one point with, uh, I think, Amiibo, wasn't it? No, no, no. What they did just for the Nintendo system, uh -huh. they had special Nintendo Skylanders. That was it. Oh, is that... Oh, yeah. Because I thought they were supposed to eventually put in, like, Amiibo functionality or something like that? They might have done that. I don't remember. I don't know that they actually... I know, I know, I know the Bowser... Announced. I know the Bowser and Donkey Kong figures that came out with Skylander for uh -huh. the Wii U, those were Skylander figures. They were not Amiibos. Because mm. I, I felt like you were supposed to be able to start using them in like one of the <clears throat> racing games or something like that. I don't remember the exact... No, no, no. They, they just had a Bowser and a Donkey Kong. Okay. Amiibo, or not Amiibo, but Skylander. Because I think the plan was to eventually have the crossover compatibility, but I didn't I think they got to. following you for Yeah, yeah he That's does, really weird. He has no life. Yeah. Maybe he just likes my suit. Maybe. That is a fancy suit I bought. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, it's kind of like one of those things like Skylanders. I'm shocked it lasted as long as it did once Disney I feel came like, out in yeah. Lego Dimensions. I feel like Skylanders should have like went away a long time ago. No, there is. they, they uh, Netflix did renew the Skylanders cartoon for another season. So. Really? Well, the cartoon, I, mean, I can see the cartoon being popular, but I don't know about the game per se. I the other think, toys pop probably. I just think up. Activision needs to rethink their strategy on it, and I think. Yeah, I, I could see that. I think a strategy of not um, coming out with a new game every year and just making fig, excuse me, making figures is the better idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, I think you're right because like if you keep forcing consumers to keep buying expensive upgrading. things yeah uh, like upgrading like that then that gets annoying and you'll you'll lose um 
Oh, that's the guy who's following you. I have no yeah. idea who that is. I mean, that's why he's following you, but sorry, sir. We're podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to join your party. <laughs> But yeah, it's like I I feel like that that's not the way to go. You're gonna lose a lot of uh, customers. Yeah, especially because it. it those are kids games. Like, yeah. Like we said, Nelson and I had a good time playing it when I bought it for Sean initially. Well, Sean didn't the, play it. As Disney much. no, he did. No, Nelson's talking about the initial first okay, night. Initial, okay. Like, because he had to go to bed, and then Nelson and I just kept fucking around with it, and we just got addicted. Yeah. But we honestly, had, I probably would have played it more had I if I bought it. But yeah, yeah, but we never really went back to it though. Sean played a lot with it, like. Sean, what Sean loved about the Disney Infinity was the toy box aspect, which was kind of like a Minecraft yeah. aspect of it, where you built your own world and bad guys and everything like that. So he loved that part of it. Yeah. Um, he didn't really play the actual story missions that much. See, the story missions actually kind of bugged me a little bit because you <laughs> had to. <laughs> nice. Well, you uh, like unless it, it specifically said you could use other figures, you kind of had you were kind of stuck with. You had to use the figures the, like the Guardians of the Galaxy until you earned certain things. You had to use like Guardians, Guardians of the figure, Galaxy, yeah. the Marvel, mm-hmm. which was kind of the feat of the purpose because the whole kind of point is like. Hey, I can have um, Spider Man and Buzz Lightyear team up, but only yeah. in the toy box. Yeah, that's, that's that 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 kind of bugged me because if they did it differently and allowed that cross compatibility, that would have been more intriguing to me, and I think they wouldn't have, uh, you know, scrapped the whole game because I was actually a little disappointed that you know they canceled the rest of the game. You're only disappointed because you're going to get a Spider Gwen figure for it, and now that's not coming out. That was oh, part of it. I was actually I was actually very surprised that they did because I thought it was a popular game. Yeah, I think I think part of that had to do with like I don't think Disney wants to make games anymore because like with Star Wars they signed on with EA. Mm-hmm. I think they just want to license the games, mm-hmm. which is fine, all in all good, but make sure they license it to the right people. Like yeah, <sighs> I don't know about Battlefront because that felt like a waste of money. You can't drive through that gate. You can't get to the <laughs> airfield. Yes. Yeah, I don't know how to get in there yet. I haven't played this game enough. <laughs> but I'm going to spend a lot of time this weekend with this yeah. and Witcher 3. Learning the yeah. aspects of it. But going back to the you know the, the, the toys with games thing, I think the only company that really... That could really be successful with that for the long term is Lego. Mm. It's because that's kind of ingrained in their, into the DNA of the game anyway. And they already yeah. had prior success climb the fence? with their yeah. uh, with their Lego games. Yeah. So well, actually, I think the most successful would be the Disney Amiibo. Mm-hmm. Because look at that! I barely use my Amiibos for anything. I've got two, four. Oh four, yeah, the Amiibos. Yeah, six, the Amiibos eight. could work too. I've got like almost twenty Amiibos, maybe more. But than the 20. thing about Nintendo Amiibo or Nintendo in general is, it doesn't really matter with peripherals if they're successful or not. They're going mm-hmm. to make them anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, well, the problem with like Lego Dimensions is that's expensive. Like that a is, basic figure set is twelve bucks. That Ooh. is that is expensive. How many do you get with that? You get usually like you one get a figure, figure in like and a, you can build like a, a micro vehicle, a micro like vehicle a micro set. It's yeah. but you know the having worked at Lego and be and I'm just a little bit more familiar with uh how how they do their stuff. It's like that they're gonna keep making that. Probably for a couple more years. Drive they, that ramp. <laughs> and so, that ramp. Turn around. Go through that ramp. No, I didn't see the ramp. Otherwise, I would have aimed for the ramp. Okay. Turn to your right. Oh, the oh, geez. That is a ramp. <laughs> but yeah, Lego, know. I could see them making the uh, Dimension stuff for a couple more years until well, something just came else out comes them. out. They just came out with like, their version of 3.0. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, they would have to... They would probably come up with a brand new concept or something before they cancel that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I and Sean's got the mentions. Uh, I, I haven't uh played any of it yet. He <laughs> Nice. I got Why is this dude it. following you? Yeah. He wants the D. He he wants to be oh, He wants to be on the podcast. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, that was tight. Wrong side Get out of the highway, but uh, even and, better, it's GTA. What? Get out of, If you can lose him Get out of there. Oh, that was awesome. Well, that guy's got no contact on, so it's, he can just drive through shit. Mm. But I don't see him on the radar anymore. Nope, he's down at the bottom. He's trying to find you. 
<laughs> yeah, I, that's the thing. Like, even if he can't, you know, he crash into stuff. Why is he following us? I don't know. I have no idea. Weird guy. All right. To each their own, I guess. It's a dude from Pyramid Scheme. <laughs> he might be. He's like, that dude was talking hey, about Hey, God, I can make you rich. Just, mm-hmm. just follow me. All right, next up, um, I'm sorry to... I, I've seen a couple people talk about this online, different comment section, different websites, and you know that's not the best place to get news, but it did get me thinking about something. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we had The Force Awakens last year, which we all enjoyed. It was kind of a remake of Star Wars a little bit, but a little bit. There's a oh, there's <laughs> a tap chopper following you too. Yeah, no, I did you? Well, no, you didn't feel it, but I felt it in my. Computer. Oh, I saw the explosion. I saw the screen. Ah. Um. So, so we had we had um. A cute brunette female as our lead character, in that mm-hmm. which is fine, you know. We have a female lead in Star Wars. Yeah, I like that. There's yeah. no problem with that. Oh, dickhead! Yo, that was somebody else. That wasn't the same yeah, guy. No, no, no. no. Yeah. What a dick. <sighs> anyway, you can go in passive mode if you want. Just, no, that's uh, all good. Nah, no, man. All right, I'm I know. Start huh? killing motherfuckers. He wants. He wants the Wild West, so he's getting it. <laughs> Wild West and modern times. But yes, uh, continue. Oh, uh, wait. You got a rocket launcher. There's that chopper. Get the rocket launcher and heat sink that motherfucker. It's on the other side of the grenade. Good. This? Yep, and hit over. Let me see it real quick. Because that is not the rocket launcher. Oh, he meant pinch. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. There you go. Um. So look for that motherfucker. Get your revenge. He's circling. And I believe this is the lock on one. He's got to come closer, I think. I believe this locks on. Um, so, anyways, but then we have Rogue One coming out, and our lead character is another cute brunette. Okay. And I well, do I'm glad know. I'm you mentioned that she was cute because if she wasn't, I'd be like, eh. And I, I, I do know who the head of LucasArts is. Her name is Kelly Kennedy. Uh, but I never knew what she looked like. Mm-hmm. So I Googled her. Mm-hmm. She, she She's brunette? an older, decently attractive for an older woman brunette. Okay. All right. So, I see where this is going. What she is kind of doing is doing what every bad writer does. I'm um, looking at you, the writer of fucking um, Twilight and um, Fifty Shades of Grey. You can't kill him. He's in passive mode. Yeah, but just, um, he decides to flip one. Is she's putting herself in the story. She's living vicarious. Right. Which I do not like. Mm. And also, I like how. Star Wars answers answer to diversity is British white women. It's like that's you're not diverse. I mean, oh, is the Rogue One chick? Well, uh, I wouldn't be so mad. Is she oh, British yeah. too? The Rogue One. Uh, yeah. Well, she got a British accent. I could, I really hadn't been paying attention to the Rogue One trailer. Well, the lines are so damn corny. That's what worries me about Rogue One. What in the... I think it was just regular NPCs just chilling. But yeah, the 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 lines like. You're re- you're a rebellion. I rebel. It's like that's uh, nasty. And like this is a rebellion. Rebellions are built on hope. And I'm like, oh who man, I don't know who wrote that, but Midnight it's a terrible Shyamalan. line. Yeah, I was like, that is cringeworthy. So it does have me a bit worried. But yeah, the the, the funny thing is like, I don't know if um, that's what is being happened on purpose. Like. Kelly Kennedy is just like, um, yeah, I just want all the characters to look like me. Kind of thing like that, which is bad writing and I think it will hurt the series in the long run. Yeah. Especially, and and it wouldn't have been as noticeable if, say, like, the main character in Rogue One wasn't that and then the next anthology movie we got, it was a brunette. Then people probably be like, oh, and probably just wouldn't notice. But yeah, when you have two back-to-back movies that are... In the same universe, but separated, mm-hmm. and collect the money. Oh, right. I thought you were just going to go in the car and be like, fuck you. <laughs> um, no, it, no it's, just, it's just kind of weird to me, and I'm well, not saying that's cash. necessarily what they did, but it kind of seems that's what she did. Mm-hmm. Kind of thing like that. And I did so find it kind of weird that we want to make Star Wars more diverse, but in the sense of making Star... That dude got uh, in the car with me. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you just ran away. <laughs> Why is this guy? What? I want to party with you. Yo, my man, Neil. My man's trying. Like, I, I want to party with you. He is like your new best friend, Izzo. 
cheating on me, man. I have I told you There's about my new best friend? Woo! Barnaby oh, Jones. Oh, man. Oh. I like how you landed on another car. Barnaby Jones. Now, so in the editing process, we need to pause that. You should know voice. Uh-oh, them Duke boys look like they're in a heap of trouble again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this game. Oh, you jumped over a car nice. there. Oh, you're not jumping through yeah, the shit. Yeah, I was there. like, well, um, that ain't going to end well for you. Dude, why are you following us? This is creepy. This is borderline stalkerish. And I know I've got this This is stalkerish. I, I, you know, but like for real, you know, I, I kind of like it. I mean, like. You, you kind of like the attention? I mean, you know, we have this you podcast. You like a bald and, you know, white people, guy following you around? You know, I'll take whatever attention I can get for right now. You know, I mean, Agent 47. It's a hit, man. Oh, true. Do I need to talk to T3? Nah, man. Oh, nah, should I give you your attention? Hey, we, we will. We will. <laughs> Have I told you about my new best? There you go. Hit that. Help. <laughs> Police, they 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 stalking me. <laughs> Police, help! This guy's stalking me. I need you. Yeah, help. No! I'm surprised you haven't. Okay, there we go. I was like, I'm surprised <laughs> you hadn't gotten past two stars yet. <laughs> hmm. There's two stars. Yeah, you ain't gonna get away from the cops. You keep running into people. Yeah. Uh, Nelson, you need to get this game. Izzo, go buy an Xbox when you leave here and get this game. And then get the game over. Mm. I've already beat. <laughs> yeah. I'm on it. But, no, nah, because actually, GTA might be the best value for any game. Because, A, you get a robust story mode. Mm -hmm. And then you get this massive online game that they keep updating. Yes. And giving you new things. Yeah. Yep. For free. Like, they're not charging you for any of it. There's no... DLC, oh, it is DLC. No, no, there are there's DLCs. No, yeah, there's no season pass. You know, there's no... It's it's completely funded off of people who want to buy the shark cards and buy extra things in the game. Yeah. So... And plus, if you bought it again, it, you know, you'd still be not quite as bad as uh, Tyler. Because he... <laughs> he's bought this game three times. Yeah, <laughs> it's... <laughs> Granted, they were for three different systems, but still. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, no, no. This is not <laughs> You're going go for down. a ride! <laughs> I got it. You know what? I'm, I'm going to hang out and see where this goes. He abducted you. I'm going to hang out he and see where really this goes. He really did abduct you. <laughs> I mean, we were, we, we were both going after the same thing. You know, I, I get it. I'm going to see where this goes. This is like cruise control for me right now. I wanted to take a break. Hey, he's not a bad driver. Oh, drift. He's actually pretty good. Fast and the Furious. Oh, man. He's going to rape you. <laughs> I'm sure that there's a button that allows me to hop out while you know he's driving. Yeah, you can hit Y and just tuck and roll. Yeah, but he's in this like Porsche type dealio. I don't think that's... I think right you're going to get wasted the minute you try to oh, jump well, out. Right, exactly. So You are currently his hostage. Yeah. No, he's, right now would be a good time on the grass. It would have been. Where's <laughs> he taking you? I don't know. Well, I he's, he's taking to you to the, the sex right club. Now, you guys thought he's trying to. <laughs> I, love I love it. Remember, I love it. There is no sex this, in the champagne <laughs> room. This no is matter the... what a stripper tells you, there is no sex oh, in the man. champagne you know room. What, what would be fun, Unless though. you're me. You know what would be funny though is if he just rolled out on me while the car was still in like you know. Oh, oh man! I would so because, do that. Uh, you would. How about you're going to at some point? Yeah, I want to kidnap somebody. Yeah. I might talk about freaking not taking no for an answer for recruiting. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I know, listen right? to my pyramid scheme. <laughs> <laughs> so we watched two trailers. First up, the Death Stranding teaser number two. Which still doesn't really give us any insight to the game. I have no idea what's happening. There was like a tank controlled by worms. We got Mads Mikkelsen in there. Mm -hmm. Actual Mads Mikkelsen. Proper Mads Mikkelsen. Right. And then we had a character who looked deceivingly much like Guillermo del Toro. Yes. yes. So, um, yeah, and we have no idea what it's about. There was a baby in a jar that winked at us. Yeah. That was so that creepy. was weird. Yeah. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen had these... Like cords attached to these soldiers, and he sent them away. Those um, weird umbilical cords is what yeah, I was thinking. And his they mascara were. was running. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> tentacles. I mean, I don't know what's up with the tentacles. I, uh, I don't All right. know. I think you're at the rape dungeon now. Get out. Right. Cool. Thanks for the ride, boss. Too bad he's in passive mode because you just hop out and shoot him. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm, yeah. he, he's my new favorite Uber driver. 
Well, wouldn't that be great if that's what he's doing? He's just like, I just need to find people to give him rides. Right. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Give me a four star rating. Right. <laughs> Fall the longest distance I without dying. That's die. the challenge. Twelve feet is the. Oh, just climb to a building and jump off real quick. See, climb to that building, and jump off, see if you live. Because that's the <laughs> challenge right now. You for real want me to do that? Well, that's a challenge, but okay. yeah, get up. I'll oh, get up on top of that truck. That might be higher than twelve feet. We got to beat twelve and a half feet. Where? Right there. That trailer. That might be higher than twelve and a half feet. You want me to climb this uh... and jump off of it? You got twenty-two seconds. It's not happening, bro. There's a razor wire. Uh, somebody's shooting God at me. Damn it! That's the same dude in the copter. Yeah. Oh, what a dick! <sighs> Wanted me to get out of the car and, and jump 12 feet. He still would have killed you. I know that, but I'm just now saying. the event's over. Find the VIP of Spectre. Let's not get sued by James Bond at all. <laughs> now get your. Well, I don't have any ammo. Oh damn it! <laughs> so that wouldn't have done any good. You no. can snipe him though. Yeah, that's too much work. I'd do it. <sighs> so. Yeah, we're. I'm still gonna get it because everyone who watches this podcast knows my love affair with Hideo Kojima. Mm. We're gonna look for him when we're in Japan in the spring. We're gonna find his address. Um, we're gonna make him about let that. us play a demo of Death no, Stranding. No, we are. But what if we become his best friends? What we're gonna do is we're gonna mourn the loss of the Gundam statue that they're tearing down next uh, March. I'm shocked they're tearing that down. I'm yeah, not. well, but they're they're going to. Um, there's only one Gundam. Build a new one in 2019. For is it going to be a Gundam Wing? Because that's the only Gundam. I don't know, but it's going it. to be uh, Death Scythe. Whatever, but it's but it's going to celebrate the 40th year anniversary for Gundam. So, I think that's why they're tearing down the one that's currently out there now. Do you think we can build one in America? Uh, I mean, we already got we the could. closest thing if that you we're going to get. Stupid fucking robot. <laughs> the dumbest thing. I was going to say the Statue of Liberty, but. That's no, that's the closest we're gonna get to a Gundam in well, space. Well, no, no, because uh, Pacific Rim was. Uh, no, I meant a Gundam ish. statue. Is a freaking RoboCop statue in Detroit. Oh yeah, nice Infinity SUV. <laughs> Thank you. I said that because those look like Infinity headlights, so I'm assuming that's the MK or no MQ. Probably what based it off. the fuck it is. My mom wanted to buy one. I told her not to. Too bad it's not a Lincoln. She's like, but I like Infinity. I was like, get a car then. Like, you're paying way too much money for a Nissan SUV at that point. True. Because at least the Infinity cars are different. Their SUVs are just rebadged Run. Nissans at that point. Run. Oh. Run. I don't know Get how that guy's able to get up. He looks like he's talking shit. Oh, not yeah. anymore he's not. Neither is that yeah. guy. <laughs> oh! Want you want some two boss? There's mm. plenty enough to go around. Goodness. Oh! <laughs> oh, and he smacked his face. Mm. Oh, he's he still alive. No, nah, son. He's running. Go get him. Don't you run. She's mm. mild the curve. <laughs> Izzo wants that man dead. He, he is. He owes me money. <laughs> he is avoiding you. Or are you is. Rihanna saying, bitch, better have my money? Yes. Mm. Play that in the background when we post edit. Nope. Nope, because I don't want a DMC takedown. True. So I think she's with Warner Brothers, and they will fucking hit you. Warner Brothers music does not play around. Never mind that Warner oh. Brothers will steal shit off the internet wholesale and not give any credit. Yeah. He's go. He's up. Yo, go. How's he still alive? I don't he know. Like a cockroach. Back over. Oh, 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 no. No. The cop oh, the ran cop. him over. The cop finished him off. You got to get out of there. Oh my <laughs> lord. Okay, and then after Death Stranding, which we all think is pretty cool, right? We have no idea what it is. We had yeah. the um. The Belko experiment. I like that. You know, I like that. Uh, You're on train tracks. I know. Okay. I like that trailer. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm thinking they didn't show any comedy, but it's got James Gunn attached to it. There's got to be some sort of dark humor in it. Yeah, I mean, given those cred, I mean, he's the director and writer, so there probably is some. But I personally, I'm not sure, just because I'm looking oh, at all the other credits that were uh, that they had in there. Mm -hmm. I was like. From the producers of Wolf Creek, I was like, that had no comedy in it, if I remember correctly. And then all the other uh, movies that they mentioned, I was like, um, there's a good chance there's not going to be any. I won't say there won't be any, but... 
Mm-hmm. I'm going on record as saying there will be comedy. Yeah. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, it's still going. Hey, he righted himself. <laughs> it's still alive. Yeah. I was trying to get away from the helicopter because I think it was gonna for me again. Yeah. Probably. What a dickhead, man. I know, right? Just can't enjoy a nice drive through yeah. the city. Oh, man, don't, don't make me walk. Oh, rock this joint. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Is there oh, a train God. coming? Uh, I don't know. You will find out soon enough. Oh, no, that was a flyer on the wall. Or as that Metallica song goes, the um, light at the end of the tunnel is just a freight train coming your way. <laughs> True. Would not doubt that at all. Mm-hmm. In the endless tunnel, and you will now die. I know, I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here now. <laughs> well, yeah, Buffalo Experiment oh, looks pretty cool. Oh, all right, there are people here. Murder Let's all go. of them and take their monies. Rip they all look like hookers. Don't use that. Use the silence pistol. Why? Uh, see? Because they wouldn't have run, you could have killed a couple before they all started running. There's probably also a cop down here, too. Then you kill him. That's not wise. You in the mall now? Oh, man. Oh, yep, that was a cop. He ran by you. I know. Uh, I, I wonder, if you, if you steal a cop Follow car the people this, fleeing. Uh, do they still have shotguns in the cop cars? <laughs> like in GTA 3? I don't know, I haven't stolen a cop car yet. Hmm. That cop has not come back up them stairs. Nope. He's he looks like he's on the tracks and he's. Someone ran shot. down the track. There's someone walking up the stairs. Oh, there's there. a cop. Oh, there's a cop. <laughs> <laughs> nice pistol whip. Pistol whip that bitch. <laughs> oh, he ain't got no money. Oh, they don't pay him that much. Yeah. Alright, next item on the list. Oh, crap. Um, so since we're in the month of December, much like we did in October with, um, you know, Halloween stuff, spooky, scary stuff, we're going to talk each week, we're going to talk about, oh, man. Mm. Oh, Ooh, you got shot in the face. We're going to talk about, like, Xmas uh, traditions, so. Christmas traditions, yes. Let's, yes, let's talk about it. Sorry, I wrote Xmas the shorthand, and I just wrote it that way. Um, so I think we'll start fairly simple. What are some of your favorite movies to watch um, over the Christmas holiday? Like, to get you in the Christmas spirit, like, while you're decorating, while you're wrapping, you just day off, you're just putzing around. What are some things you like to um, enjoy? Jingle all the way. There's definitely one. You know, so I was, I was always a big fan of um, the Snoopy and Garfield. So anytime that I would see those when I was younger, like I knew like it was about to go down, Christmas was coming, <laughs> and presents were just gonna be at the yin yang. So your buddy found you again. I know. I'm trying to get away from him again. <laughs> Unless he's gonna drive me around again for free, then I'm totally down with that. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean that 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 was always a great memory for me. Yeah, for me, I got a lot, but um, Peanuts Holiday, Peanuts Christmas Special, I love. That's one of my mm. all-time favorites. Yeah. Mm. Um, Christmas Story. Oh yeah. Of Always watch that. And I, I watch that at least. I finally once bought some Blu-rays. Christmas. I didn't have to wait till Christmas Day to watch it on TBS. <laughs> uh, it's a Wonderful Life. Yes. You know, I was actually. Gonna I actually that too. finally just bought my own copy because for years living at home with my parents, you know, my dad had a copy, so I never had to like worry about watching it. But then after, when I moved out in my mid twenties, um, I never bought my own copy, mm. and there was a couple years where I didn't even watch it because. NBC has the rights and they'd only show it once. Well, right. So I mean, like it used like, to be like whoever had the rights to these Christmas specials uh-huh. would show them over and over again. Yeah. Right. But oh, now so they don't do that just, anymore. No, now networks just show them like once. Huh. And if you missed it that one time, you missed you it. You had a luck, huh? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Um, then also, uh, I love watching the That Seventy Shows. Christmas episodes, like oh, I always yeah, watch those on Netflix. Those are uh, those are always entertaining. Those are kind of nostalgic because they kind of make me feel how I did, like in my early teens Oof. at home during Christmas. Like mm-hmm. very much gives me that feeling. Um, uh, what else? What else? Gremlins. I love watching Gremlins. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, it's a Christmas movie. It is. And now some more recent Christmas traditional movies that I watch now are just the Shane Black ones. Um, like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Nice Guys, Iron Man 3. I need to, I need to find a, or get another copy of Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, because I don't know what happened to mine. No, you actually owned it, because I know I own it. But... I had it for a while. I keep forgetting you own it. Yeah. But yeah, I had it for a little bit. I feel like the maintenance people from, um... Your old apartment? Yeah, my old apartment just stole. But then, um, so my, my favorite, Rockies. and this, this is going back to when I was like, Rockies. knee high to a duck, my favorite Christmas special is Mickey Mouse's Christmas Carol, which is what we, when we first met... Scrooge. Oh! <laughs> oh, there you go, your friend is gone! Yeah, uh, that's when we first met Scrooge McDuck, that was the premiere of Scrooge McDuck. Was cause, it? Yeah, because they, really? they retold a Christmas Carol, and that's when they created the character of Scrooge McDuck, who would later, you know, be in DuckTales. Yep. Things like that. You know, I love DuckTales. Oh, DuckTales. Oh, so I love Gizmo Duck, that was like my dude. Then I love Darkwing Duck, but I know that was kind of like the spinoff of that, but... It wasn't, it wasn't, because... Uh, it wasn't to the a direct creator, spin, But yeah. no, according to the correct creator, Darwin Duck, even though they shared characters, it yeah. wasn't in the same universe. Really? really? Yeah. Interesting. They just used characters. Yeah, they because they shared Launchpad and yeah. Gizmo, Gizmo Duck. Yeah. That's weird. But there's never any direct reference to DuckTales in it. Like, yeah, um, that's true. Launchpad says how he worked for a rich guy, but that's like the closest thing you get to mm. a reference to uh, DuckTales. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so those are kind of like my big Christmas movies to watch. Mm -hmm. oh, and as a kid, I used to love Frosty and Rudolph, and I can't stand those now. And yeah, Nelson, actually, no, I just I thought of it, and either. you should have named it too, Scrooged. Oh, yeah. Bill Murray Scrooge. Well, I only named one of the movies that I watched during Christmas time. Because, yeah, because for me, it's uh, Christmas uh, Story, um, Jingle All the Way, Scrooged. Um, if I Still get a chance to... Because, oh, you know, doing. sometimes yeah. I, uh, you know, sometimes the Christmas uh, or the holidays get kind of uh, bogged down with, like, a bunch of random stuff you got to do. Mm -hmm. um, Bad Santa is definitely one that I like to watch mm -hmm. if I get the, the get around to it. Um, if I remember to, which is not often, oh. I might throw in Die Hard. You know what I forgot, <laughs> though? One of our favorites that got us on the whole thing of Krampus, mm. the League's Christmas episode. Oh my yes. gosh! Yes. <laughs> yes. Those or are Or that sunny, uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia Christmas special. Oh, where Frank comes out did of the freaking sofa? Did you fuck my mom, Santa? Did you fuck my mom? <laughs> that. <laughs> See, I, I can only take so much of that show, though. I mean, like, it's, it's hilarious. Don't get me wrong, but, like. That. Every time I watch that Christmas special, though, every year, like, like when Frank's coming out of the sofa and he bites Santa. Honestly, and... part of that reaction, Josh, was you screaming out, did you fuck my mom, Santa, with that damn Lemmy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 man. Did you fuck my mom, Santa? <laughs> I forgot about that. What I love is, like, when both of them came to the realization, is like, yeah, you know, you had Christmas at other people's houses. Mac talking about that. It's like, he's like, yeah, you would go to like other people's houses and open up your gifts that Santa left you there. And that's why, like, when I got home, because everybody had their Christmas, there was no Christmas at my house. No, dude, you just broke into people's houses and stole their presents. <laughs> yeah, and it was like that. the glass shatters, like, oh man. And he's, and then back at Charlie's, like, oh, we'll go back to my house. We'll get back in the Christmas spirit. And he's like, he's like, I was like, yeah, all the Santas would come and hang out with my Wait, mom and I bring money? gifts. You paid same. Oh, that's your utility, so. Uh, my utility. Oh, uh, like, yeah. apartment. <laughs> yeah, he's like, and the Santas would come bring me gifts and they'd go hang out with mom. I was like, no, dude, I'm pretty sure they were having sex with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fuck my mom, Santa? <laughs> oh. 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 That show. That's, I haven't seen it forever, but. Yeah, it's been yeah I, I saw a commercial for. Um... It just kind of got old to me. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I stopped and see. I think. Season three was the last season I watched, but uh, freaking um, what's her face from um, It's Always D. Sunny? D. Mm. She has a new show coming out on really? Fox. Cause like I saw the commercial report again. Uh, I think it's more. Well, Sunny's also coming back for another season too. So oh, that's hmm. interesting. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I, I yeah, I saw a commercial for it the other day. I just thought that it just quietly ended. No, nope. right. nope. <laughs> coming back, and right. D's in it. So. 
And of course, she's married to Max, so. Yeah. I don't think she'd leave the show. In real life or in, in the real show? life. Oh, okay. But. Yeah, and Charlie Day is uh, married to the waitress. Yep. She hasn't been on the show in a long time. Who'd have thought he'd be the breakout of that show? <laughs> you know, it's so Granted, random. Granted, he's the funniest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he's also the ugliest and just the weirdest, so you would think. And but... he wasn't even the first one to do a movie. No. Well, it was uh, Dennis. Yeah. Because he was in The Strangers. He was, yeah, no, I... even for that, he was in Must Love Dogs. Oh, was he? Yeah, but he I played really John Cusack like much best friend. credit when he did uh, Pacific Rim, though, as that scientist. Yeah, and he felt so out of place in that movie anyway. Like, oh, I love him though. He was my favorite character in that movie. Really? Oh, yeah. Man. Well, except for Idris Elba because Idris Elba is just awesome. No, I will. I will admit he did shit. feel out of place, but oh, I enjoyed him in the you, movie. I'm we won't get into it. Yep. <laughs> uh, but um, no, I loved him as the scientist. And I thought he was great. Yeah, I liked him in the movie, but I will admit he did feel a little out of place. I thought him and Ron Perlman played off each other very well. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that scene was there, great. There's that. Yeah, yeah, that scene was great. Nope, that's a but boy. freaking that other dude, um, the dude with the mustache in that movie, every time I looked at him, I'm like, I like you in this movie. Why did you have to be in Boondock Saints 2? Are we talking about the dude that looks like uh, Bonto from uh, Ghost in the Shell? Ba Bato? The dude with the mustache from the movie. He was like one of the, I think he was like the other, not, I, I don't remember if he was a scientist. The skinny dude with the mustache, oh, brown hair. Oh, no, I was thinking about the... Uh, mm. The, the the white Chinese mer merchant guy. No, 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 no. He wasn't anybody really all that important. I think he was like Mission Control or whatever. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, I look I, I looked at him and I'm like, why did you have to be in Boondock Saints 2? The funny thing about Boondock Saints 2 is like, I disliked it so much, I blocked it. I remember nothing about Boondock Saints 2. I didn't 2. watch it. Don't. It really? took me. Yeah, because Boondock Saints 2 was so bad to me. I was not able to watch Boondock Saints 1 until recently. Wow. See, but Nelson's the type of person... The first one's classic. Though. Nelson lets bad sequels, prequels, and remakes get to him, though. Like, he's... Mm. That's you know, the only one that's really done that to me, though! No, but you constantly go, like... You'll say, like, so-and-so raped your childhood when they do a remake or something. But No, that, I only refer to one movie as the rape of my childhood. That's X3. Oh. Yeah, that was horrible. X3, the rape of my childhood. <laughs> that is the name of that movie. I think that movie's that bad, though. It, it was pretty not, bad. It's <laughs> not good, but to say it raped your child. It was the was, rape of well, my yeah, childhood. That might be, <laughs> that might be excessive. extreme, but... Uh, that's how much I dislike that movie. But then, you know, it's not even my most hated movie anymore because Batman v Superman usurped that. Whoa, dude. He's got a buddy with him now, too. Oh, man. But yeah, I, I dislike... Batman v Superman that much. It usurped pretty much every movie that I hated. Yeah. That, that was, was a God awful terrible, movie. terrible, terrible movie. And of course we'll probably Before get God awful year. We'll probably get accused of being Marvel fanboys again, but No, no that was just a horrible movie though. Yeah, it was. But I mean, speaking of being accused of things, I've got a comment to read. You know how I like to call it comments. And regardless of when you're wrong, and most of you are wrong. We do appreciate the comments. Keep them up. That helps us get on the YouTube algorithm. So, yes, definitely comment we below. enjoy the hate. Even if you hate it, yeah. tell us how much Oh, you look at those sweet breakdancing like moves. <laughs> but, I'm not so going to get that anywhere else. For our spooky, oh, um, shot at, our spooky podcast, yeah, which, yeah, we, which, we, enti bro. which we entitled um, The Walking Dead Sucks. Um, but... Um, Person commented, uh, their name is Nalma, N-A-M-A-L-2-3, came here to listen about The Walking Dead, and you are rumbling about fucking Game of Thrones and some other unrelated BS. Well, sir or ma'am, welcome to the world of podcasting. We, we have a general geek podcast, and um, we talk about a bunch of different topics, like we've done here. Mm -hmm. We don't just focus on one because that would make it very boring. If you just tuned into a podcast and talk about one thing, we get no views, like our wrestling podcast, which does piss poorly. <laughs> and I constantly want to kill it because it doesn't do it well. But, so we don't specialize on one thing like The Walking Dead. Because if we did that, then we'd be no better than The Talking Dead. Nice. Is that the dude who was following you? Did he finally go, un yeah, he finally went unpassive and killed you. What a dickhead. Hmm. 
Um, so anyways, yeah, we, we don't stay on one topic. We mix it up. We make it more fun for everybody. Because that way you came to watch The Walking Dead, but some probably came to watch about Halloween. Somebody probably else came to hear us talk about Game of Thrones. Yeah. And, Sorry, newsflash, it's not all about you. Yeah, and for the <laughs> record, the first 22 minutes was basically about The Walking Dead. And the reason why we brought up Game of Thrones was because we were comparing a shitty show to a good show. We wanted to compare and contrast because basically we talked about Game of Thrones in the aspect of this is what The Walking Dead's trying to do and this is how Game of Thrones does it better. So, I'm sorry you uh, did not like our commentary on Game of Thrones. Or, I'm not. Or, I'm sorry, Walking Dead. But, you know, I don't care. But thank you for the comment. Um, <laughs> keep keep them up. Um, so we talked about Walking Dead here, so maybe I'll just put Walking Dead in the, the subject there to con you into listening to it again and get to it at the end of the show. That'd be great. Can't wait to see your comment for that. <laughs> but did you use proper grammar? Just when came you didn't use capitalization, commas, or periods. So it's the internet. When did they use proper grammar? I agree with CM Punk. Grammar oh, no. Slam. I'm just saying... <laughs> I, I, I don't disagree with you, but at the but same they did time, call it's it, the internet. <laughs> they did call it Walking Dead and not The Walking Dead, so apparently you came to listen to about a show you don't even know the actual title of. Um, yep. And you did use you are, but most people say your. You know, we like to condense things here in America. Contract words. Um, Welcome to America, by the way. Yeah. Fucking Game of Thrones. Could have capitalized Game of Thrones. Um, some other... I like how they put BS, but they spelled out fucking. So you censored yourself by putting BS, but I can almost wonder if you're just too lazy to spell out bullshit. I'm going to go with too lazy to spell out We're not going to give them this much attention, right? Because we can't move on. I know. I just I just like harassing people. Because I hope they comment again and tell me I'm a fucking idiot. No, they probably won't. <laughs> yeah, but one thing I do love about the internet is how people like the shit on things other people created when they don't create anything themselves. Yeah. That cracks me up. Like, when we'll, when we'll get comments about, why didn't you do this in the video? Why didn't you do that? It's like... Well, no, so I'm open to suggestions. Yeah, I'm open to suggestions. No, but I, when I say, why didn't you do this? When they're shitting all over what we did. Oh, gotcha. It's like, if you want to see that, like, if you want a Walking Dead podcast... There's nothing walking, stopping you. Yeah, There like, really isn't. Get a camera. We're here to Use your phone. Others. That's yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah. So, yeah, it's... Whatever. Yeah, I, just, I, I I don't even give them the time of day, really. I know. I, I don't like, care. I don't care that I don't care enough to even really yeah, but dignify anybody with a response. Yeah. Time. But but that encourages more response. We want comments, good or bad. I want comments. I leave that to you. I know, but that that gets the <laughs> algorithm up. That's what yeah. I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, that's why algorithm. I leave We're that not to all you. about numbers here. Wait hmm. more subscribe. I'm all about the numbers. I all I care I about like is my job, but editing I could, the stuff if, to if, get if, out. If I could, if I could make a living just doing this and playing video games, I would do it in RP. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I love my job because my boss might be watching that because I told her about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, if like I, if I if I could make my pay, if I could make my salary what I make on my job doing this, I'd do this in RP because I just play video games all day. That's the best thing in the world. Because in fact, Sean was watching a Funhouse video with me. He's like. Mm -hmm. Do they just get paid to play video games? Like, yeah, pretty yeah. much. She's like, oh, I kind of want to do that. And I was <laughs> like, all right, here's some tools. Right, here's a camera boy. Yeah. Actually, Nelson, I should make him sit in on with you and watch you edit. He's got to learn to do that. <laughs> he's a little bit older. He's we'll going to yeah. hate to make videos after that then. Oh, if that's the case. Now, I, some people like editing. Some people have a lot of fun doing yeah. it. Yeah. If I had more time to get, you know, a little bit more elaborate, then I would like it more. It's more along the lines of I need to get this stuff up. And out in a timely fashion. Right. So. And by timely fashion, he means he waits till the last minute on Monday night. That's not true. There's a lot of shit that has to go into that. So fuck you. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so on Nelson's nerd rage about my commenting on his editing, I think that's a good place to end this one. So we're going to continue stealing cars, um, taking names. And getting blowjobs. Did we cover everything on the docket? I we felt did. like there was more. Uh, there was <laughs> no, we, we kind of we kind of generally cover things like he talked about the Gundam statue, which I don't care. I do. I mean, it's heartbreaking. Why well, is it heartbreaking? Because it's Gundam. I love Gundam. If it's not Gundam Wing, I don't care. Um, oh no, we did miss out one big thing, which I want to talk about. So here in Virginia, in Aka Omac, Virginia, which 
I don't know where the fuck that yeah, is. Yeah, I've never so I'm heard assuming that. that's out in the boonies. Yeah, um, that's probably out west. <laughs> It's, a it's parent a filed place. a complaint to get uh, to kill a mockingbird and the Adventures of Huck Finn banned because of racial slurs in them. First and foremost, um, To Kill a Mockingbird is about a lawyer standing up for a black man being falsely accused. If I remember correctly, it's been two decades since I read that book. Hmm. Um, there's probably some language in that. Book. Oh, because it takes place in like the 20s. Or no, even before that, I think it takes place in like the early teens. Either way... It takes place in a time, uh, trying to get age, you. where that word was commonplace and used, and not in hushed tones at all. Mm. Um, same with Huck Finn. I mean, it, it's one thing, and what kind of makes me <clears throat> laugh a little bit, we kind of like overlook the amount of use of the N-word in uh, Tarantino films, mm. which I've always wondered why he gets a pass for that. Because he's a white guy, a very white guy, mm-hmm. but he gets a pass for some reason, and I, maybe because he's buddies with Sam Jackson. As much as I, I love the Hateful Ape, man, do they fucking celebrate that word. Yeah, but see, and I've never heard like, it that many times. The thing for me with that word is, in a modern context, if we're watching a modern film and we see a bunch of people throwing around the N-word... I get so uncomfortable, yeah. That gets a little offensive right. and uncomfortable. Yeah. But when we're, like Huck Finn set in the times in the 1800s... To Kill a Mockingbird, like I said, I think it's like the early 1900s. I think it's like the 1920s, somewhere around it's there. It's an old book. Yeah. yeah, it's an old book, and it takes place in an old time. That word was commonplace. Was it right? No. But I don't think we should censor history, and like, and I don't think we should celebrate it, but it happened. It's just like, it's kind of like how schools these days gloss over the slave trade. So my thing is, they gloss you know, over the slave oh, trade? Yeah. Uh, I think to this, this parent, I mean, I'm not sitting here defending it at all, because I think that things need to be brought up. So... I think for me, what, what, you know, how old is this child? You know what I mean? How old is their child that they're complaining about this? Well, if it's to kill a mockingbird, it's high school. Huck Finn, okay. middle school, I okay. think, is when we read that. So then, you should have already had that talk with your child about, you know, what happens in the, in the real world. I mean, are you not preparing your child for things like this? Because if you're complaining about a book, an old book, that has these, you know, words in it, then you're probably not doing your job in terms of, you know, letting your child know, hey, this is the real world, and you could run into these things as you get older. And they're probably going to complain in the comment section about our massive amount of the words of use. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> you guys have used. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't think that much. I do it. I do it for the views. I don't care. But, um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, that's part of history. It's like, it's not, no history is like rows and mm. petals and things like that. Yeah. To history is kind of ugly. You yeah, know? history is extremely very, ugly. It's yeah. just like, yeah. in order to like create a country, you have to do some dirty things. Like, as great as Jefferson and Madison and Washington were, they were all slave owners. Mm-hmm. Yep. And again, that was kind of something of the time. And again, not excusing like slavery is not cool, but at the same time, it it is what it is. It doesn't detract from who these men were because they did yeah. create this country. But at the same time, it's it's not a good thing. Um, just like um, I got into this discussion with some buddies of mine in a chat room, we were talking about racism in the eighteen hundreds. I was like, and I was explaining to him because I know the history about this because I've studied it because I was a history minor. Mm-hmm. I was like, the Irish were just it, it was in parts of the north. It was better to be black than it was to be Irish. Like, if they knew you were Irish, especially like, the New York City area... Oh, yeah, forget about it. Yeah. You were absolutely hated. And like, granted, blacks didn't really have it that well. No. But, if they knew you were Irish, it would be better to be black. Because they would just... Like, for what blacks went through in the South, Irish, the Irish were ha- having in the North. It was just... But yeah, again, really it's not really about history. that, though. Yeah, the only really... The only thing you really hear about it is... Um, so like that's a family gang- on vacation. I am going to that <laughs> Like, no. gangs, gangs in New York is the only, like, movie that I've ever seen really tackle that. Right. Um, but I think the reason why you don't hear that much about uh, just the massive racism against the Irish is because the Irish, much like they did with Ireland against the Brits, just kind of pulled themselves up by the bootstraps and they didn't complain. It's not... Oh. And, oh, that dude was a fight. Wait, where's my gun? Where's your gun? Shotgun him. Oh, oh! He ain't tough now! Right in the lungs. Alright, I do have to buy ammo, so if we could not oh, waste all my ammo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, I just, 
I, I can't give you a good reason why we don't hear that much about it. I think it's because the racism for the Irish didn't last as long, I would say. Right. It didn't last into modern times. Like, once we started making movies and stuff like that, and I think also Jack Kennedy being elected kind of helped because he was an Irish Catholic. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then again, you know, Obama being elected didn't make racism magically disappear. But a lot of people thought that it did until the most recent election. I really think only ignorant people thought that it did. I think I think the election of Obama, what it did, it proved that we're not as racist as people want to make it out to be. Like the majority, uh, the majority, there are there racism is never going to go away. No, for a black man to get elected president, the majority of the people out there can't be racist. Yeah, I mean I don't know that that, that with with that. with Obama's election the first time. I'm not sure about the second time because um, I didn't vote or or pay attention the second time. Mm -hmm. um, I think with Obama, he was able to bolster a lot of the college age to mm -hmm. come out and vote. Yeah, he, got, Which, he, got, yeah, he, he also, bolstered... Uh, he, he also bolstered, got a lot yeah. of uh, blacks who don't normally vote to get out. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... But no, I'm not saying racism doesn't exist or anything like that, but I think if the majority of this country was racist, I think a black man running for president would have gotten a lot of racists out to vote yeah. who probably don't vote. So what I'm saying is, and I'm not saying, I'm not going to even pretend like what the percentage is, but I'm just saying, at the very least, 51% of this country is probably not racist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With, Again, uh, I'm and, not I saying, mean, and this, this election... And there are a was, lot of racists yeah, out there. This election was, it's honestly, it's just kind of, this past one was just kind of weird in the sense that, you, okay, oh, a, was, lot, a, lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, of racism, uh, a, a lot of hate crimes have been being reported upon. I don't, I can't attest to the validity of a lot of them, but mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a good chunk of them that that really happened, right. and there's a good chunk of them that didn't happen, and people were making that shit up. And I think probably I, a lot that <clears throat> aren't even being reported too. Yeah, yeah. or if and, they are, it's just not making uh, national headlines. Exactly, and and I, I I feel like with that, are you looking for a train? I don't think yes. that. Uh, the you know a good majority of the people that voted for Trump were necessarily racist. Oh, I'm not saying that at all. I, I think that I think a lot of votes for Trump were just votes against Hillary. Yes, Absolutely that's the thing. Trump. I think there's a lot of votes against Hillary because, in spite of your political views, um, you know she appeals to some people, but you know, the a lot of the people that voted against her, like I didn't vote for either one of them. Mm. Um, oh, that was almost the greatest parallel parking job ever. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> you know, you, you just, there, there's just a lot of things about Hillary that were just not appealing at all. Mm -hmm. uh, that being that she comes off as an elitist. Right. Granted, Trump ain't exactly for the, the little guy, and the little guy's going to find that out real quick. Yeah, but what Trump did was he appealed to them by saying he was going to bring jobs back. Oh, yeah. Whether or not he can or can't, he, uh, that, that's the thing is when people feel downturn, because a lot of people like look at like, oh, unemployment dropped under Obama. That's because a lot of the urban areas saw gains in employment. Mm. The problem is in the rural areas, a, um, we have record highs of unemployment. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they were the ones hurt the most. And, and if you look at the electoral maps, That's they're true. the ones who decided this election because yep. they all you need is when you're that downtrodden is a promise of things will get better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what Donald Trump did. Whether or not, but, you know, he did talk to the carrier manufacturer, that air conditioning unit, and they're keeping their uh, factory in Indiana. So yeah. he did do one campaign promise. Yeah. And he actually personally called the guy, which is unprecedented for a president to call a head of a company and say, hey, you should keep these jobs in this country. Now, is it still, is it still the case? Because I remember hearing this very close to you know, the announcement that he was the president-elect. Um, I don't know if this is still the case, but is he still not taking a salary? He said he wasn't, but... Okay. Because, I mean, honestly, well, no, it, he, it, it, would be, well, it would be a... Um, honestly, it would be a salary cut if he... If he well, legally, he has to take a salary. Mm -hmm. He cannot not take a salary. Legally, he has to. Mm -hmm. What he does with that salary. So if he says he doesn't want to take a salary, that's fine. He still has to take it. Mm -hmm. He can donate it. He yeah. can, you know, whatever he wants to do with it. Mm -hmm. He can donate it. But he has to take a salary. You cannot not take a salary. Because I I remember them saying that there's only one other president in history that has not taken the salary 
But you know, obviously, he, they have to take it. But he's done something. Yeah, but that that yeah. that, and if he does do that, that's kind of leading by example, especially when you know our economy. Yeah, it's getting back to it's it's better, but you know it's still not where it should yeah. be. But um, I'm better was, off five I'm years. Gonna, I'm gonna swing this back to nerd. <laughs> it was like um, Satoru Iwata, the um, the former president of Nintendo, who mm. you know recently passed last year. Yes. Uh, when uh, the Wii U didn't do so well, he took a twenty percent pay cut so that they wouldn't have to fire anybody. Oh wow! That's wow, leading that's, by example. That's that really, is leading by example. Yeah, yeah so, that's really awesome. And actually. and and, to, and we need more people like Satoru Iwata. And this is where I'm willing to close this out because we got a little off on politics, but we don't. Know if yeah, we don't normally do um, that. That's we got sidetracked. But you know, it, um, it happens. talking about banning. Get to that because we were talking about a county oh, banning that. books, and you should never ban books. books. Yeah, um, I'm of the uh, of the uh, mindset of uh, those who forget history are doomed to repeat it. That and you should never ban ideas, even if yeah. they're bad ideas. We're not Nazi Germany. We yeah. don't burn books or ban them. Yeah, that, that almost reminds me about. Um, no, I was, I was, wa- I was watching uh, the Last Crusade the other day, when um, that um, <laughs> one German officer kept like, slapping. Uh, yeah, and he was like, he's like, the difference between you and me is I believe in reading books and not burning them. You stupid Stapo. <laughs> Fucking love Sean Connery, but um, <laughs> uh, doing going back. Um, Turn to Carl. Uh, a, a couple people. A couple people did videos on him uh, when he passed, because um, we mentioned it when he passed, but we weren't really that big, and we don't have the allocations to do like tribute videos like that. Yeah. But I I've definitely seen a couple of those tribute videos. Like I definitely beautiful. I definitely say check out Gaming Historian, um, their video on Satoru Iwata. Mm-hmm. Did you know Gaming on Satoru Iwata? And I believe our good buddy Matt Pat over at the Game Theorist, I believe he did a video on Satoru Iwata. All three great videos. Um, but yeah, he got his start with HAL Laboratories. Um, oh, the uh, makers of the um, Smash, Smash Brothers, Brothers and, uh, Studio, yeah, and nice. some other great games like one of my all-time favorites, which was, which was number forty on our top one hundred list, which I posted this week, forty through thirty-one. Uh, Pokemon okay. Snap, HAL Laboratories did that. They also did Kirby and stuff like that. I didn't realize they did um, Pokemon Snap. Yeah, well, they're a second-party Nintendo developer. They might be first-party now, mm. but they were for the longest time second-party. Yeah. Uh, but Iwata got his start there. Nice. He was a programmer. Um, in fact, like he used all of his money in high school to buy like a TI calculator that he could program on because you could program on those. Yeah. And he just he just started doing. He always considered um, Shigeru Miyamoto a rival, but not in a sense of like he hated him. He respected him. He always considered him a rival because he wanted to make games as good or it, better. He than used him as as someone to push him. You yeah. Know, like a baseline kind of. Yeah. yeah. So, um, his Vegeta to his Goku, yeah, even, <laughs> yeah, even though, like, you know, we're way off on this, and like I said, we did mention it in the podcast, uh, yeah, our condolences, but mm-hmm. no, just the more and more I learned about Satori Iwata, um, just it, down the line, it just amazes me. Like, there, he got he caught a lot of shit for the Wii U, and I think a lot of that was just advertising mix ups, mm. but I stand by the Wii U was a prototype for what the Switch is going to be, yeah. I think Nintendo gambled with the Wii U. If it was a success, great. But I don't think Nintendo expected it to be a success. I think what they were doing was like, okay, let's take this tablet controller mm. and have a second screen to where you can, you know, play games while your TV's on your TV. It was TV, a secret beta TV. test. That yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I just think I just think they were trying to figure out what they could do with it until the technology caught up to where they could make a HD handheld slash console system. So yeah, and I thought it, it was kind of hard to follow up with the Wii. I mean, given its success. Yeah. I mean, that was an unexpected success. Yeah. Uh, so it was weird. It, like it was one of those things where it's just it was just you don't know how to follow up something. But it, it was Nintendo doing what Nintendo does best, and that's innovating. That's yeah. yeah, taking an idea that maybe people don't think is a great idea, and then making the success out of it. Which is what they've always done, like the Game Boy. Everyone's like, oh no, a handheld needs to be in color, it needs to have the latest graphics. And so I was like, no, we're going to take this, we're going to make it, it's going to be inexpensive, people are going to be able to afford it. And we're going to The batteries it. are going to yeah. die, uh-huh. but we're going to make a lot of fun games for it. Yeah, right? exactly. And that's what Nintendo always does. Like, and I like I, how the console <laughs> itself adapted colors before the video games actually did. Yeah. That was, that was actually always funny to me. So it, it's just one of those things. Just what Nintendo does, they mm-hmm. just they just yeah. innovate. They make new things, and sometimes their hits like the Wii. 
Sometimes they're misses like the GameCube and the Wii U. You mean Virtual Boy? <laughs> yeah, and I, I was, was like, the GameCube was a better success. Than I always feel Boy. bad about oh, the Virtual Boy because uh, Gunpei Yokoi, the creator of the Game Boy, he was the creator of the Virtual Boy, and that was another thing of Nintendo's um, uh, reach uh, exceeding their grasp. Yeah, you know, they they, Plus, they, they the, wanted to do something. Yeah. And the technology wasn't there. Yeah, the Virtual Boy was way ahead of its time, though the technology was not there yet. No, either. it was one of those. The things concept that was just too far. Too ahead. much, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, though I did enjoy my time playing the demo of that boxing game, though I almost like broke the Virtual Boy because I tried to dive, <laughs> like duck and dive. And... I, st- I still need <laughs> to buy a Virtual Boy just so I can have every Nintendo. Put it on the shelf. Made. Yeah, just go, home, just go on my Nintendo shelf over there where I've got Chrono Trigger, King of Jr.'s Winning Run, the Wii, because that ain't ever going to get played again. There's no point. Yeah, true. Because I can play Wii games on my um, Wii U. Yep. But yeah, we're going to end that on that happy note about uh, Satoru Iwata and how just an awesome president he was for Nintendo. And he did push innovation forward with Nintendo. Like mm-hmm. He was definitely the guy who's like, let's try to push this uh, innovation. Mm. Um, so hopefully, you know, the future's bright for the Switch. I can't wait for that because oh, yeah, I just be found cool. out that the airline will be flying to Japan, which more than likely will be Air Canada, mm. uh, has outlets. Oh, yeah, you're talking about that. Yeah. So I can just plug the Switch into the outlet. Mm. And I don't know, and I think you're leaving before me, but me and Keenan, that 16-hour flight, we're just playing the Switch the entire time. Is it only time. 16? Uh, the flight we're taking, uh, it's total 16 hours because we have an hour layer in Toronto. But our total flight's only sixteen hours. Okay. So. Yeah, and if that if that doesn't work out for you, in in the new Game of Thrones book is out. Oh, we're gonna be reading that, that like. You're school, gonna be school gonna shots. Be... Uh, him and I are gonna read it to each other, taking turns <laughs> each chapter. So we're that's in that the, third seat with us is gonna. That like, premise gonna is like... so funny to me. No, what if they're a Game of Thrones fan? Like, I didn't get a chance to buy the book yet. Or right, I can listen to you guys. Oh, oh fantastic! Yeah, the third person is going to be a, in for a treat. Or, if they are Game of Thrones fan, yeah. If not, then sorry. Fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> oh, <laughs> savage. Uh, yeah. Hey, all I care about is me being there, paid for sixteen hours. <laughs> Screw everyone else. Or maybe Nelson, I'll pull a Ric Flair. You know what I'm talking about. You can have a robe. <laughs> Go check out WWE Network. That little story series by Ric Flair. If you want to know what I'm gonna do on that flight. Uh, so I think on that note, we're gonna say good night, Japan. Yeah. Hey. So did you like that video? I liked it. Did you like it? No. Eh, it was alright. Alright. Anyways, if you liked it, make sure you click the like button below. Uh, we have a subscribe button up here. And there's one down there. Stop putting that cursor on my face. Where did uh, those come from? I don't. I don't. Stop putting the cursor on my face. It's pointy. Where did Where did you get these buttons from? I. It's a new thing in YouTube. I did the classes. We're certified now. Anyways, we got videos right here. So check out our latest video. I believe is in this corner. And then a video I handpicked for you is in this corner. So click on those videos. So it's right. So, there's here. a lot of clicking going on. So it's right here. I don't know. I could be messing with, over here somewhere. Right, right here. Video here and here. I think the button's right actually over my face unless we shrink this down. So make sure you subscribe. <laughs> and the little bell by the subscribe button, you click that, you'll get emails. Yes. Every time we post a new video, we do a notification. YouTube will say, hey, those jackasses you like, they got a new video up. So always. And as always, we love all of you guys, even if you make a bad comment. And we encourage comments. Yes. Make the comments. Awesome.